Stardust, come to me! Stardust, Stardust, come to me! Yeah, you guys know what this is? This is my Stardust Collector. Alright, yeah, I can extend it to make it longer so I can reach even further to get more Stardust, but... Yeah, just kidding with you guys. But today we will be checking out how to get Stardust here in Pokemon Go as Stardust is the most important resource in the entire game and today I'll share with you guys some tips on how to get more Stardust. Alright, so hi, hi to all of you guys! So obviously I do not use this uh, Stardust collector or to collect Stardust because that wouldn't work. But yeah, there are a few methods to actually gain Stardust here in Pokemon Go and Stardust, like I said, is really, really important. It is so important that yeah, I always say this, which is uh, you are only as strong as the Pokemon that you have power up. And in order to power up Pokemon and unlock second move for the Pokemon, you need Stardust. Alright, so let me go ahead and bring my screen up and share with you guys the few methods on how to actually gain Stardust. So, first of all, let's go ahead and check out my stats over here and I will show you guys... Actually, let, let me show you guys uh, my total Stardust right now, which I'm at 17.2 million. Not a lot, but considering the fact that I power up close to 400 million Stardust worth of uh, Pokemon, that's a lot. Actually, above 400 million already, I would say so. So, um, let's go ahead to uh, jump into the few methods to actually get Stardust. Though. The very first method is to do your ABC, which stands for Always Be Catching. So always be catching any Pokemon regardless of whether it is a legendary or whether it's a third stage evolution or second stage evolution. Just catch everything that you see. Every Pokemon gains you Stardust and it adds up over time. Another thing though, when I mention all the numbers later on, they will all not be accounted for with Star Piece. If you actually use a Star Piece which you know, gets you 50% extra Stardust per whatever activities that you do, you get extra Stardust for 30 minutes when you put a star piece down. So that's really good. All right, so checking out that I have 1,694,474 catches though, considering the fact that if I would get 200 Stardust on average per Pokemon, it's basically more than 300 million Stardust gained just from catching Pokemon alone. So this is the table from Pokemon Go Hub. Thank you very much, Pokemon Go Hub, for all the information. But you guys can see there are ways to actually get more Stardust, which if you get a weather boost, in order to get a weather boost out of the Pokemon, example, if you're catching a PG, PG is a normal and flying type Pokemon, you have to catch it during a windy or partly cloudy weather in order to get extra Stardust. So the base Stardust from that PG alone will get you 100, but if it's a weather boosted PG and you catch it, you get 125 Stardust. Basically a multiplier of 1.25, which I'll show you guys from this table over here. You guys can see a weather boost of multiplier of 1.25 according to Bubblepedia. Thank you very much, Bubblepedia, for all the information also. But back to this though, this is a more clearer uh, table. And you guys can see if you catch a second stage evolution such as a Charmeleon or a Wartoto or an Ivysaur, it will be 300 Stardust per catch. With a weather boost, is 375. But if we were to catch a third stage evolution like a Charizard, Venusaur or Blastoise, it'll be 500 Stardust with the weather boost is 625. So that's accounted without Star Piece. If you were to put a Star Piece down, the numbers increase to whatever you guys can see on the screen. However, I don't usually go after second or third stage evolution Pokemon because of two reasons. First of all, they are rarer to come by than the first stage evolution Pokemon. And second reason is because they are harder to catch. They have lower catch rate than the stage one evolution Pokemon. And hence, you know, trying to gain Stardust by you know, going after second or third stage evolution Pokemon, if I see them on my sighting, it's not really that ideal. Another thing to note though, there are a total of 22 Pokemon that has increased Stardust when you actually catch them. Starting from Paras, Meowth, Deliberate, Chumish, Fongus, which give 500 Stardust per catch. Then Parasect, Persian, Breloom, Amongus for 700 Stardust. Alolan, Meowth, Staryu, Sable Eye, Combi, Trebish for 750 Stardust. Alolan, Persian, Starmie, Vespiquen, and Garbodor for 950 Stardust. Shelder and Chimeco for 1000 Stardust. Cloyster for 1200 Stardust. And Ordino for 2100 Stardust. Take note though that all this increase does not happen if you're catching a shadow of this Pokemon. 
So after knowing that all these Pokemon has increased Stardust, it's really ideal to actually go after them, especially during a certain event like Ordino, maybe spawning more during a certain event in the wild. Maybe it's time to grind harder and catch more Ordinos to gain more Stardust. Another thing that I recommend though to catch more Pokemon is to get yourself a Pokemon Go Plus or a Pokemon Ball Plus. These two are the official Nintendo accessory that you can use to catch Pokemon on your background meaning you don't have to be on your screen in the game all the time and you can actually catch Pokemon while still doing other stuff on your mobile device and it is really recommended because uh, you can actually use that to catch Pokemon while still doing other of your own daily activities and it only uses Pokeball and it doesn't have any like bonus catch throw like curve throw or extant throw whatsoever but you know at least it still has a chance for you to get a Pokemon when you are not having the time to actually uh, play Pokemon Go actively. So anyway, before we go into the second way of gaining Stardust, I would just like to say that everybody plays the game differently and everybody has different playgrounds. So hence, uh, the way I'm recommending for you guys to gain Stardust is recommended based off the fact that you are not spending a lot of money and probably have access to a good number of gyms and good number of Pokestops because if you are in a place that is really, really rural and you do not have a single Pokestop or single gym, within your vicinity then of course the ways that I'm recommending to you guys will be very very difficult to do alright so let's go into the next way of getting Stardust which is actually to feed berries to Pokemon in the gym of your same color every time you feed a berry to a Pokemon in the gym you get 30 Stardust multiply that by 10 for each Pokemon that you can feed every 30 minutes you get 300 Stardust per Pokemon and every 30 minutes you can feed a total of 10 unique Pokemon bring in a total of 300 Stardust times 10 up to 3000 every 30 minutes but that's also running under the assumption that you have a lot of berries that you actually don't wish to use to catch Pokemon with so hence you know with this amount that I'm showing you guys right now with 1,047,367 berries put into the gym that got me roughly around uh, 30 million Stardust, I mean, uh, considering the fact that in the past uh, it used to be 20 Stardust per berry fat, but right now, you know, it's 30 Stardust per berry fat. So, with that calculation, it's 30 million Stardust gain just from dumping berries into the gym. Another way to get extra Stardust is to always hatch eggs and always remember to use your infinite incubator all the time. If you are one who does not spend money on the game or perhaps purchase uh, incubators just like me, for me, I actually do purchase the super incubators to actually uh, incubate all my eggs at the same time. But I still use my infinite incubator to incubate 2 kilometer eggs to save a bit of money. But if you actually do hatch 2 kilometer eggs, you get a total of between 400 to 800 Stardust. As for 5 kilometer eggs, you get 800 to 1600 Stardust. 7 kilometer eggs is the same as 5 kilometer, 800 to 1600 Stardust. Hence why I don't usually hatch 7 kilometer eggs, but rather hatch 5 or even 10 kilometer eggs which gets 1,600 to 3,200 Stardust per 10 km egg hatch. And of course, the best would be the 12 km egg, which gets us 3,200 to 6,400 Stardust. So another way of gaining Stardust, if you ain't able to leave your home to clock distance to hatch eggs, is to actually play Go Battle League. Go Battle League can be played anywhere, and you actually do get Stardust from the basic reward and also the premium reward if you're willing to actually spend money to use the premium battle pass right now i'm at rank 13 if you actually progress up higher in terms of the rank you actually get more stardust more rewards also so um it does add up over time i don't really play go battle league a lot but you guys can see that my total stardust gain from playing go battle league is at 10.1 million which is a sizable amount of stardust gain especially since if you just need pokemon for go battle league it's pretty a, a good amount of stardust to actually power up your pokemon for go battle league already so another way of gaining Stardust, especially if you're out and about and if you have a lot of Pokestops around you, is to do few research tasks. The few research tasks to get 200, 500, 1000 and 1500 Stardust are the ones that you can actually go after. Of course, uh, you do not want to try and uh, work on the 1500 one if it's too difficult to complete such as catch a Ditto or catch a dragon type pokemon normally i'll discard those but work on just the 200 stardust or the 500 stardust um, reward ones that's just maybe doing five nice throws and that's good enough if you we were to consider that i've done a total of 83,280 few researchers really and just take 20 percent of them are stardust ones um, it's still a good amount like it's around 16,000 multiplied by say an average of 500 stardust gain per few research that I do that's a total of 8 million stardust gain not accounting with the star piece on or whatsoever another way that I can recommend to you guys to gain more stardust is to battle team go rocket 
whenever you guys are able to. So you guys can see that I've defeated a total of 22,813 Team Go Rocket members. That includes the leaders also. So if you check out the table by Bubblepedia, it says that defeating a Team Go Rocket grunt gets us 500 Stardust. Defeating a Team Go Rocket leader gets us 1,000 Stardust. And defeating Giovanni gets us 5,000 Stardust. However, you can't battle Giovanni over and over and over again. So uh, we will take that out of the equation but let's go ahead to talk about the 500 and 1000 starter so if you account for the fact that i've done 22,000 battles and all of them are grants it's more than 10 billion starters gained from doing all these battles but what i would recommend to you guys if you guys ain't like me is to not purify the pokemon because if you do purify your pokemon yes you actually do spend starters and on average it will cost you roughly 3,000 starters per purification and that, that adds up over time, especially if we check out my purifier medal, which is at 21,000 right now. If we were to account for the fact that each purification is 3,000 stardust each, it's a total of 60 million stardust spent just to do this. So that's not really ideal if you're actually trying to gain your stardust. So the next and simplest way of getting stardust daily is to actually open your friends' gifts. You can open a total of 30 gifts from your friends a day and you can get between 0 to 300 stardust each time you open up your friends' gifts, which is nice, especially, uh, you know, um, you can open up 30, say on average you get 100 stardust each, 30 times 100, that's 3,000 stardust for free, just opening up your friends' gifts and getting extra items like pokeballs and potions and revives and whatnot, but definitely I will say that, you know, um, I've gained a lot of stardust by doing that. How much, I'm not sure, but definitely not as much as doing the other activities that I've shown you guys already. So another way of getting Stardust for free is to actually battle the team leaders, either Candela, Spark or Blanche, and you can actually fight them anytime and anywhere. And if you were to choose the Master League one, you can just use CP10 Pokemon and just lose to them. You actually do get Stardust from uh, battling them, but only once a day. However, if you actually go ahead to uh, battle uh, other people, like uh, people who are your friends on your friends list, you actually do get the chance to get three chance of rewards per day and it does include stardust as the reward also so after talking to you guys about all the ways to gain stardust kind of for free um, now is the time for me to tell you guys how to gain stardust if you are willing to spend money well if you are willing to spend money you would have already incubated a lot of your eggs in fact all of your eggs to actually hatch more eggs to gain more stardust but another way is to actually to do more raids such as tier 1 tier 3 Mega rates and even legendary rates. Whenever you do any of these rates, you gain 1,000 stardust per rate. So if you check out the amount of rates that I've done just from the champion, which is tier 1 and tier 3, 17,388, whereas my legendary is at 42,412. Bring the total close to 60,000. So if you multiply that by 1,000 stardust per rate, that's 60 million stardust just from raiding alone. So this method, like I said, is not exactly ideal for people who do not spend money or spend a lot of money on the game. And uh, if you are willing to do this, well, it's uh, very costly, but I wouldn't say that it is the best way of gaining Stardust. So we are down to the last two ways of gaining Stardust, which are not so ideal because it takes a while to actually get them. The first one is actually your first catch of the day. You get a total of 1,800 Stardust. For your first catch of the day and your streak bonus, also your seventh day streak bonus, you get a total of 9,000 Stardust. After, you know, catching Pokemons for seven, one Pokemon for seven days in a row. But it takes a while to actually get to it. And the other way of getting more Stardust is actually your weekly adventure sing, which if you were to clock 25 kilometers, you get 1,000 Stardust. If you were to clock 50 kilometers, you actually uh, get 5,000 Stardust. And if you clock 100 kilometers, you get 10,000 Stardust. So it's not really that ideal because uh, it takes a while to get them. And you know, the weekly progress is just gonna take too long and uh, Waiting for the amount of Stardust to gain isn't really ideal. So I really recommend to do the ABC, which is to always be catching, always be catching Pokemon. Hence why, you know, despite the fact that uh, me sitting down here talking to you guys, not even hang catching a single Pokemon, uh, I still have my Ball Blast catching some Pokemon for me. I know a lot of them ran away because uh, the catch rate of the Ball Blast is really, really poor. But I caught some like, you know, Lilipup, etc. I can do that passively, not even needing to be like, like consciously uh, hand catching Pokemon. So um, that's that. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys have found this video a bit useful in terms of how you guys can gain extra Stardust. I would dare say that majority of my Stardust were gained from catching Pokemon. And uh, thanks to the Gold Plus, thanks to the Ball Plus, it definitely helped me gain a lot of Stardust in the long run. Of course, uh, 
even if I don't reach, I don't. I don't usually uh, spend money on star pieces. Um, I still gain a lot of stardust just from doing uh, all these methods that I just spoke to you guys about. Alright, so if you guys found this video a bit helpful, definitely leave a like on the video and share it out with your friends, whoever who are having problems with gaining stardust. I would say to do all this method consistently every day. Don't take it as if just a bit of stardust is just so little, you know, like um, just doing um, the trainer battle whatsoever is so little. Um, it adds up over time. And of course, uh, I usually do the trainer battle, the trainer leader battle when I'm not at a place that has a lot of Pokestops, a lot of uh, activities to actually play in Pokemon Go. And I just do that uh, passively. So I just leave it over there and just let the ante from Candela take out my Pokemon and I get free stardust that way or free um, rewards that way also. Alright, so uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video, alright? And I'll see you guys in the next episode in the next video. Alright, stardust, stardust, come to me. Alright, it's time to say goodbye. Stardust, stardust, don't goodbye, come to me. Alright, so goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.